Great. How y'all doing? Doing good. Um, talking to Tyler Davidson mm-hmm. a couple of days ago, and we were talking about run defense. Okay. And, and kind of just, he, he said, he was like, you know, I feel like we're, we're right there. It's mm-hmm. kind of like the details of the small things. Yeah. What are those details? What are those small things in the run game where it's like, if we do this, the difference in a one-yard gain versus a nine-yard gain? Yeah, I think when you talk about run defense, you're talking about everybody – maintaining their gap for the entire play and it's one of the toughest things in the world right football hasn't changed for all these years but it's so like us as pro football players right you get your gap and then as soon as you peek into the other gap because you feel like you have a little bit of leverage or you feel like you got that man in front of you controlled as soon as you peek into that other gap a good running back finds a way to just jump right back to your gap and uh, that's that's the details, right? That's the toughest thing. It's you know, it, it's it seems easy to a lot of people, but we, you know, you also got to realize that there's people in front of us who are a little bit bigger, you know, and also they're paid to just try to make you second guess your gap and make you miss your gap and stuff like that. So that's it. It's it's really just staying strong in our gap, trusting everybody to fill their gap and do their job, and just maintaining the gap throughout the play. Yeah, I mean, I think every every opponent is a unique challenge, right? Um, and every football team, while you know what they're going to do every single week, they're paid to sit in their building and come up with a new scheme or a new wrinkle that you haven't necessarily seen before. Uh, but that's when you got to realize as a defense, you it's all about you, right? And And you have to really hone in on your details, your fundamentals, and be the best players as individuals we can be, but then obviously – being the best individuals we can be will ultimately make us the best defense we can be. So I think as you're saying and as you're alluding to, it's really about us honing in on what we need to do, holding each other accountable, making sure we all are stepping up to the to the call of, of playing sound run defense and sound defense overall. I, I know, you know you've seen Ade kind of develop. Yeah. And he's a guy that I think that came in to training camp as kind of an under-the-radar type of guy, and mm-hmm. now he's Yes. Can you kind of just speak to what you've seen from his development? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I joke with him. I think he's like a 40-year-old rookie. You know, he (laughs) kind of reminds me of my grandfather in in terms of, you know, just just a tall, lanky presence. That's my my grandfather, 6'6", you know, and he played with the Falcons as well. So he just kind of walks like my grandfather. But it's just more like Ade is a quiet guy, but he's so mature for his age. And and so, um, you know, he stepped into – to his role and his position on this team and he's he's answered the call and, and he's a leader on this defense, you know, and that's the, the beautiful thing about him. He doesn't bat an eyelash. He hasn't changed his mentality. He comes to work every single day and he, he continues to push us all to be better and it, it's on the older guys in the room to hey continue to, to help him groom him up, but you like I said, he, he stepped in day one and has been a leader and an integral part of this defense. Say it one more time. Sorry. Able to get home in the end zone. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it was a stunt. Yeah, you had wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, was that was that a stunt? First of all? It, it was just I just saw the inside open and okay. just took it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yes. Okay, so, um, but yeah, man, I want to ask you about like as far as when you run those stunts with guys that you had not necessarily played with, like how <laughs> important is that to just really get a feel of how the person playing next to you? Yeah. And then, uh, the second part of that, as far as how important is it to get a feel for each other as far as keep the team and the quarterback? Because, you know, potentially, potentially coming back, mm-hmm. like how important that can be for you guys. Yeah, I think it's, it's a big trust thing, right? It's like understanding, like you said, it's, it's chemistry. You know, and everything is just understanding, okay, hey, I'm with Grady right now. Okay, what is, do I know Grady's strengths? Do I know Grady's weaknesses? There's not too many weaknesses that Grady has, right? But, like, do I know what he likes to do, how he's, you know, do I know the man next to me? And if we are working together, because there's certain plays where it's not, we're not working together, I'm just doing my job. But if we are working together, then I know what I can do 
to be a better teammate for him, to free him up. And the same thing it goes vice versa. So, um, and I think that that's that's just I think that's the next level step for for not just veteran players, for just players in general. It's like you know when you come into a, a building, you come into a new system. Is learn the system first. Okay, boom. Now learn the people next to me because everybody, every player is different. You know, you can write the playbook out, you can put the X's on the page, but the way people get the job done is different. So if I know the person next to me and I know that, hey, he ultimately has that gap, but he might get to it a little different. It might not be exactly when I thought he was going to get there, but he might be coming a little late, but he's going to get there. Then it might change up the way I have to handle my business as well. So, again, it's different for every player, but it, it comes as you continue to play with each other and see each other on film. Yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's like you said, it's something that you see as we continue to move forward game by game. Um, but I think it's also, you know, what I personally learned. Again, this is my sixth team. You know, what I personally learned is sometimes you just got to we all got here playing football. Right. And at a certain point, you know, regardless of scheme, football is the same thing. Right. If I got to get to a certain gap, well, I just got to play football and get there. Ultimately, we got to get the ball down. So I think I, I just don't want to. There is an emphasis on chemistry and knowing the person next to you. But sometimes it's about you as an individual doing what's best for you to get the job done. And I think that that's where you see the the leaps and bounds in defensive football. Uh, as far as the. Uh... I don't think a lot of people understand like how difficult that is, but you talked about how you saw an opener, right? And mm -hmm. you took it and you jumped inside. Like, how important for you or how important for you to be able to really determine whether or not when whether to. you're gonna do that and that zone block is because the guy can be on you. And then you say you try to shoot inside, and then phew, the running back is going out, going the other way. Yeah, it's called gambling. It's literally just uh, <laughs> it's literally it's literally just investing in uh, Squid Game coin and all of that type of stuff. It's like you know sometimes you're going to be right, and when you're right, you know you look like the smartest and best player on the field. And every once in a while, you know when you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. And so I think that it's. For, for I'll talk for me. For me, as an edge player, there's a certain time where I know I have the tackle or the tight end, whoever's blocking me, I have him far enough up the field, for example, where his body has set the edge. And then that's when I can fall underneath. The hard thing is, like, it, there's a fine line and a balance, though. Like, if I have him so far up, up the field, then now I've just made that B gap or that C gap wider for the person inside of me, right? So now it's... It, it's literally like we're all like you can there's times where you feel like you've just worn your guy out, but you've really worn him out too much. And now you've just made the middle linebackers job a lot harder because <laughs> you've just widened that B gap. So it's it's a uh, it's like a what is it, accordion like we all are working together, so to speak. I don't know if that's the right analogy at all, but you get what I think you get what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate y'all.